The Medical Admissions Unit Ambulatory Care Pathway has been created for safely managing and treating patients for suspected lower limb DVT. This requires a multidisciplinary approach to ensure that the patient receives the best care. Direct acting oral anticoagulant or DOAC therapy provide benefits in ambulatory care. DOAC therapy involves oral administration, no routine coagulation monitoring requirements, and a single drug approach with apixaban and rivaroxaban. They are high risk medicines and have the potential to cause harm when used erroneously, leading to significant adverse events such as major bleeding or increased thrombotic risk due to suboptimal treatment. Recent incident reports have identified uncoordinated processes within the lower limb DVT ambulatory care pathway, resulting in unsafe prescribing of anticoagulation and lost opportunities for follow-up, patient education and communication between primary and secondary care. Examples of incidents with DOAC use include drug dose emissions, multiple methods of supplying DOAC medication leading to inconsistencies and treatment delays, inadvertent prescribing of a DOAC in combination with another anticoagulant or antiplatelet, overlooking contraindications for initiating DOAC in pregnancy and breastfeeding, failure to educate patients about their diagnosis and follow-up and counsel them on the safe use of the DOAC prescribed, errors resulting from insufficient team communication and documentation, inappropriate patient referral to the lower limb DVT ambulatory care pathway. This refresher has been developed to streamline processes and clinical decision making, improving efficiency and ensuring consistent high quality care. To uniform a safe referral to the DVT service, the nurse needs to obtain a discharge summary from the doctor. The nurse needs to collect a seven day TTO pack from the Omnicell. This needs to be checked by two nurses. The patient should receive their first dose of the anticoagulation from the TTO pack whilst in the hospital. The first page of the DVT booklet must be completed correctly, including the patient's weight. Inside the booklet, please document on page 8. Ensure that the patient is aware of the diagnosis and that the treatment plan has been explained. Complete the checklist and that safety netting is documented. Please document the type of DOAC issued and how many days have been prescribed and sign the documentation. This process ensures a compliance to the lower limb DVT ambulatory care pathway and is mandatory to avoid unnecessary harm and inconvenience to patients. For further inquiries, please contact the DVT nurses Monday to Friday, 9.15 to 4.30 or the doctor on call out of hours.